Well, it certainly feels like Thanksgiving weather outside. Cake on these meteorologists, Marina Jerica, back with your next weather forecast. That was a good deal for $47. That's a really great deal. People. I mean, I know that Thanksgiving dinner usually costs about two, 300 bucks, so yeah. $47, that sounds awesome. Sign me up. All right, we're looking at a great, great afternoon for some soup and some grilled cheese. We are looking at some very chilly weather and it's gonna stay with us for about 48 hours. So if you like the cooler weather, enjoy, because of course we're gonna get the warmer temperatures back in for the weekend, but we are looking at a very socked in live a look at Long Beach and it's very soupy out there and it's going to continue to be not only foggy or we'll see just maybe a little glimmer of sunshine here and there this afternoon. We're going to deal with drizzle and some light showers as soon as the system passes on Thursday night into Friday morning though we'll get that sunshine back. Not too much change from yesterday at this time when it comes to our region without the sun but we move up to the Antelope Valley and you folks are already in the mid 80s because you're seeing the sun but where we will notice a markable difference both today and tomorrow is in highs for uh, the inland areas, which will be about five to 10 degrees cooler than they have been over the last couple of days. So they're going to struggle in the 70s and even out of the 60s for many locations. And then where we're seeing the sunshine, you folks will stay in the 80s. So low pressure, what is it doing for us? It's gliding near us and it's deepening the marine layer, which will help us cool down even more so tomorrow. We'll get a chance for drizzle both today and Thursday, and then a chance for showers late Thursday as a cold front moves in with with that deepening marine layer. So it's going to mix in together and give us a chance for maybe up to a quarter of an inch or less of rainfall in scattered locations. So not everyone's going to see it, but widespread drizzle both today and tomorrow. I know a lot of us saw it this morning. Upper 60s as we head into downtown LA for one o'clock, dropping into the 60s again tonight, but we will get into the low 70s by three or four with some peaks of sunshine. And then looking at the Inland Empire, same setup, just a little more sunshine between three and five, but then we'll get socked in again with the mid 70s. So there's that low sliding right on top of Nevada right now. I'm going to set up shop in Arizona, and it is that cyclonic flow that is basically going to deep then that marine layer. It is going to bring us drizzle, light showers, and winds. So watch out for that, especially Thursday night into Friday morning. We're going to see the winds get a little bit more widespread at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. You can see those trouble spots, especially if you're heading into the higher terrain, our mountain overpass. Watch out for those gusty winds and we'll see winds out of a different direction this weekend. Looking at our next weather seven day forecast and that's what's going to drive our temperatures back into the upper 70s. So a bit of whiplash as we see more of a Santa Ana wind event this weekend that'll help warm and dry us up and we can see that for the valleys as well with the low to mid 80s returning and the Inland Empire after that shower chance Thursday night. We'll be looking at the low to mid 80s returning as well. Amy. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.